This is what's so amazing about using the SEC Edgar website is you get to really figure out what is happening with this fund and track it from all the different entities they're using or used to use so you can actually understand it instead of being blinded by beautiful data being presented to you. I understand the desire for beautiful data. I also love it. But oh my gosh. Okay. So all well, I did. This is, to, to me, this is a victory of higher IQ versus normal people. <laughs> I'm just, <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> all right. So, so all right I did, now, let me just say what I did so that then we can move on. Perfect. How okay. did you find it? So all I did is I Googled Bury 13F Fund, hoping to get the name of the fund, the actual name. So it is indeed Scion Asset Management, which is what Data Ruma has as well. Scion Asset Management, comma, LLC. So then I put in Scion Asset Management, comma, LLC into the Edgar website search and it came up, whereas it did not come up on the first time that we only put in Scion. So you have to know kind of what you're looking for, which is very cool. And also by not knowing, we found these like mysterious funds that are, that are so ancillary. I so my case about what a ridiculous website the SEC has built here compared to just some it people is, in private cab. Just it's just private people. Showing us the legal filings. That's oh. all it does. Yeah. So and now without that a brain at all. Wait, listen, I so now nothing, that I put no, in wait, Scion no Asset companies. Scion Asset Management, comma LLC. Oh, you're and kidding. this one is a 13F dash HR. 13F dash N T means that they're not going to tell you any holdings. 13F dash HR means it does have holdings. Wait, and wait, I'm not getting anything. You're not? No. Put okay. in Scion Asset. Scion Asset and then it came up, comma LLC. Well, you don't have to put in the LLC. Scion Asset will bring it up. Scion Asset. You've got okay. Scion Asset Partners is the first one, and then Scion Asset Management is the second one. Search. You're right. You know what I put in? You ready for how stupid this website is? Yes. I put in Scion Asset Management, comma LLC, and it told me there was nothing there. <laughs> Well, that's stupid. <laughs> Watch. Let's do it again. Let's, I mean, I'm, this is unbelievable. Okay. Cyan Asset, Asset Management LLC. There it is. Am I misspelling anything? Maybe I can't use capitals. There it is. It's right there. It's right below. Wait, it's right I'm there. Wait, I'm click search. No, you, you don't have to click. Okay. Oh, my gosh. And what comes up? No matching company. It was right there. It was showing up for you automatically. Where did it go? Oh, my gosh. This is I mean, like showing your grandpa how to use the internet. Okay, wait. So here I am, Scion Asset Management. There's nothing on the page. No, 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 no. You, uh, you have hands. to, it shows it in automatic lookup. Click on the end, delete there. Click on the end, delete the C. Go back, keep going back. Delete, delete, delete. Oh my gosh. Scion. There we go. Asset Management. Put in asset. <sighs> this is like torture. Okay. No, you're putting... Okay, just forget it. You're putting in too many <laughs> words. <laughs> I can't I am so... This, this is this proving is like, everything I believed about this website. Proving it. God a forbid. a shadow of a doubt. One should have to search. It's totally screwed up and written by people who are on okay, government... Okay, I'm taking your video payrolls. off. I'm going to put my video on. Okay, I am now going to stop sharing... You go ahead. Your turn. <laughs> okay. But make it snappy because this has already proven everything I wanted to show you. Oh, make it snappy, huh? Mm -hmm. About mm -hmm. the SEC website? Oh, uh, never mind. Okay. Voila. Now, here we are. This is what Scion owns. It's very long <laughs> and it has multiple uh, entries for the same company sometimes. So Great. it is, to your point, Dad, very annoying. Thank you. There you go. Thank you. Honey. But it is the data from the source. So if you're somebody who's good with Excel, what a lot of people do if they're good with Excel is copy this data in and make their own tables and own charts so that they can chop and dice the data in any way they want. Now, I think it's important to know where this stuff come from because otherwise you don't know when something's wrong with it. But a much easier way to do it <laughs> <laughs> is 
is to go now to a talking. website such as Rule One's website or Data Roma, which I have right here, <laughs> <laughs> which will tell us That's right. exactly what he owns and sold, and even helpfully tells us like in what percentages he bought or sold, which yes. the SEC will not tell us. No, they so. Won't. It's uh, it's very nice and very helpful and very available. It's fantastic. It's ad supported, so anybody can use it. I'm yeah, a big fan. So, so this is this is a fantastic um, tool that you all should be using. Um, no question about it. And I, um, I'm just going to tell you right now, we use it all the time, every quarter. Most of the gurus, and by the way, there's like eight thousand or more gurus that are tracked by the SEC. And the vast majority of them will not do you any good to look at at all um, because they are just tracking hundreds of companies. <laughs> so you have no idea how, or even if they're committed at all to a company, if they're just buying it because other people bought it. Um, so the vast majority of those fund managers are and they're cloning each other and just trying to stay with the market. What we're looking for are very specific signs that this person is our kind of investor. And the easiest one to spot is simply the number of companies the person owns. That's just the easiest one. If they own less than 20 companies, they almost are certainly our kind of investor because that means that they're putting in, on average, 5% of their portfolio into one business. And this is really scary for the vast majority of people who are managing money. They don't want to get that committed to anything because they don't have that level of certainty and they're not doing that kind of research. So this is rule one style investing. You're going to end up with a very small number of companies. And so we're looking for people who are gurus who have that same characteristic. So that would be the thing I'd be looking for on Data Roma, Whale Wisdom over on our toolbox and so on. I would like to know how you knew that Michael Burry or Scion has way more funds under management than are appearing on these 13 Fs. Um, we're going to have to go into that later because it's oh. a little bit of a secret. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. But I will tell you, it's very important. If you look at something and someone owns 25% of their portfolios in this one company or 47% of the portfolios in one company. You really need to know what the big picture is, right? So you can look up somebody like Prem Watsa and it looks like he has almost 50% of his portfolio in one company. And he doesn't. It, it's not even remotely near that because what's not showing is the vast majority of the money that he's actually managing. And that's because a lot of it's invested in foreign companies, a lot of it's in cash and so on. So that's, that's yeah. Just, so you got to you got to be able to find that out. We'll talk about that next time. I think All that's right. a good thing to check. We'll out. talk about that next time. All right. So there you go. Thirteen Fs. You guys get on it. Start cloning your little selves. And what you do with the clone stuff, by the way, is use it as a starting point for building your watch list. That's what you're going to. Well, do. and what we wanted to look at is kind of you know what these guys are buying and selling in this crazy time here which cool. is going to require some slicing and dicing of the data. You guys, if you enjoyed this video and you feel it was valuable in teaching you more about how to invest, hit the like button and please share the video with your friends. And if you want more investing content, subscribe to my channel. And don't forget to click the button on the screen. We got a free gift for you. Thanks again for watching.